What's up everybody, I am Mongoose, you are awesome, and this is my offlane tutorial for beginning players. I'll cover a variety of topics today, with each one being timestamped in the video description below in case you want to skip around. The topics in this video are an introduction to the offlane, good gems and cards for the offlane, hero picks, and some gameplay tips for success in the offlane. Paragon to offlane is the lane to your left as you exit the core. It's called the offlane because you're going to be off by your damn self against two people. I don't know if that's true, but it's close enough. As the offlane hero, it's your job to delay the taking of the offlane tower, harass the enemy carry, and rotate as necessary to assist your team. Since you'll be up against two people without any help, the offlane requires a much more defensive mindset than any other lane. Many new players will aggressively charge in and either die or get so low that they need to immediately leave lane, then start pinging for assistance from the jungler. The jungler has their own very important job, and so do you. Don't try to play the offlane if you're not prepared for the defensive cat and mouse game. The number one rule I have for the offlane is JBTFU. You're going to hear this a lot throughout the uh, video. And that stands for Just Back the Fuck Up. This applies to a majority of the situations you will encounter in the offlane. Now we'll go over some early game cards and gems that can help you in the offlane role. For a more in-depth guide to offlane cards, I suggest you check out Porkchopper's best offlane cards video linked in the video description below. First and foremost, I highly, highly suggest you include the Healing Towers gem in any offlane deck. Even if you don't have an opening card that requires vitality, you should still build this gem and take the one point of vitality just to get the effect. It's that important. Healing Towers grants 2.2 health regen and 1.2 mana regen while within the radius of a structure, the, that circle that surrounds the tower. This may not sound like a lot, but it will often be the literal difference between life and death. Of note, this gem works for both allied and enemy fortifications as long as the tower is still functional. Some early, good early game cards for the offlane. Um, you can go with Coin Master from the Growth Affinity for one vitality. You get a uh, Wealthy, which grants eight bonus gold every 10 seconds, increases to 16 bonus gold while out of combat. Farm is scarce in the offlane. This will help you keep up in the gold game. Um, Exoskeleton also from the Growth Affinity. It also costs one vitality. It grants Hero Block, which reduces all damage taken from enemy heroes by eight. Notice that's all damage taken. This card, it's uh, very good for keeping you safe in the early game, but you should probably dump it towards the mid game as it loses value as, you know, people level up and hero damage increases. Um, Advanced Evolution from the Knowledge Affinity, it's a one intellect cost card that grants restorative learning, restores 15% max health and max mana over three seconds after leveling up. Since you aren't sharing XP with anybody in the off lane, and the safe lane duo is, you will level up faster than them, which, which of course means you'll get more levels than them, which means this card will proc more often. Tower Strider from the Death Affinity. Uh, this card costs one vitality and it grants Structure Rush. It grants your hero plus 90 movement speed when near structures. This card can be invaluable when the enemy team decides to rotate several members to your lane and tower dive to get a kill. Also, just like with Healing Towers, this card works under both allied and enemy structures. Finally, the last card I'm going to cover is Lamplighter from the Order Affinity. The card costs 300 gold, no gems, just gold, and gives you two Shadow Wards. Vision is a premium in version 42, and Lamplighter can be crucial for providing you and your team with valuable information to either keep you safe or set up gank opportunities. Normally, in this portion of my tutorial videos, I go over good picks for a particular lane. However, the offlane role can be filled by such a huge wide variety of heroes. It basically comes down to what hero type you want to play, either melee or ranged. Which one you pick will directly affect how you play in the offlane. If you pick a fighter, you want someone with a sustain and a good escape. If you pick a caster, you want good poke ability and decent wave clear. There are a few heroes I would suggest that new players stay away from for the offlane. Now bear in mind, this video is for newer players. Experienced players can be successful with pretty much anybody in the offlane. However, the inherent difficulties with some of the heroes I will list um, make it very hard for some of the newer players to, 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 to be successful in the offlane with them, so I suggest they don't choose them. Um, for example, for fighters, for a new player I would not go with Chimera. Yeah, he has great sustain, but he has no escape. 
I mean, he's all go. He's all go, go, go. And that's not what you want for the off lane. If you get caught out with Chimera and get stunned away so that you can't get your spirit regeneration, then, uh, yeah, you're pretty much screwed. Any of the ranged carries will present some difficulties for newer players as well. Carries are heavily dependent on farm, and, and the offlane is notoriously under-farmed in position. Uh, most of the supports will also present some difficulties for new players, as they don't really have good wave clear, and uh, they kind of have lower basic attack damage. Narbash kind of being an, ex an exception. Richter and Steel are both pretty good in the offlane. Richter, of course, very difficult for a newer player to use. Steel, I think, is just fine for any new player to pick up and play in the offlane. Uh, some basic tips for the offlane. Again, JBTFU, just back the fuck up. If the enemy safe lane duo is aggressively pushing against you, just back up. It's not a challenge to your manhood. You don't need to try and show them who's boss. JBTFU and wait it out until they, you hit level 5. Get your ultimate, then show them who's boss. Stay under your tower, let your healing tower gem do work, and farm last hits as safely as possible. If the safe lane duo is pushing you back to a distance that you can't farm last hits, just stay back. Keep in range so that you can pick up experience from the wave kills. Uh, when you know when you when your minions kill their minions, you still get XP for it. But don't risk your life for a handful of gold. The lane pushes all the way up to the enemy tower, forcing you to move halfway up the enemy safe lane in order to gain experience. JBTFU. If you push too far forward without vision, the enemy jungler can cut off your escape from behind and end you. Either wait patiently for the wave to push towards your tower, or go take an offlane jungle camp or something. If the enemy safe lane duo is about to take your tower down, JBTFU. Any decent safe lane duo will take your tower. Just delay it as long as possible without getting killed. If you sacrifice yourself in vain to attempt to protect the tower, then the enemy team will not only get a tower, but also a hero kill. If your team cries about it, just ignore them, and know that you did whatever you could to delay the tower's destruction while staying safe. If you notice the enemy jungler moving towards your lane, JBTFU. The tower will not save you from a three-man gank. They will simply trade tower shots between them and kill you, and then walk away safely. Take advantage of friendly jungle rotations. If the jungler comes over to hold your lane for a bit, use that opportunity to go back and buy some cards. This will just, you know, make you stronger. Don't try to be a tough guy and hold out without backing. And I just, 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 you know, just to do it, just to be tough. I don't know why people do that, but they do, and it's just dumb. Turn it up once you hit level five. If you if you've done your job well, you have plenty of mana, health, and an ultimate ability. Call in for a gank on your lane, coordinate with your jungler, and then turn the tables on that safe lane duo. If the enemy duo is under your tower with enemy minions, it's best to clear out the minions first. This will limit the amount of time the enemy heroes have to deal damage to the tower. Also, if you attack the hero, the minions will begin attacking you, causing you to take damage for no real reason. However, if you see the opportunity to put yourself between the enemy carry's basic attacks and the tower, do so. If they hit you, the tower will aggro onto them, causing them to take damage and setting up a possible early kill for you. Some tips specifically for melee. As a melee offlaner, you're more susceptible than a caster to poke damage. Um, as such, you may have to forgo even more farm. However, it will be easier for you to clear offlane jungle camps. Take advantage of this when the opportunity presents itself. Uh, caster tips. Use your poke abilities as much as possible to, a to attempt to... Uh, make the enemy carry have to back. As much as possible does not mean running through all of your mana immediately. Use your heal heal healing towers gem to regen mana. Try to use your poke in a way that strikes both the enemy hero and the minion wave. And uh, yeah, this is one reason I like the phase so much for offlane. Her harvest nettles consumes no mana if you hit an enemy hero, so you can constantly just poke at them while using your mana for wave clear when necessary. This concludes my offlane tutorial for beginners. I hope you were able to learn a little something something from this. Or, if you, or that you know someone that can benefit from this information. If you found this video informative or enjoyable, hip toss that like button for me and subscribe. For now, this is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!